I'm here on Remsen Street in Cohoes at the Cohoes Music Hall. And you know what? I've actually never been here before, so I'm excited to see what's going on inside. Follow me. When we took management of the building, I think that there was probably some concern out there among people who had become fans of seeing live music and stand-up comedy here. Well, if a theater company's running it, it's just gonna be musicals and plays. Nothing could be further from the truth. We want this to be the Capital Region's boutique performing arts center. We wanna have every artistic discipline in the performing arts represented on our stage. So whether you're a fan of rock, blues, jazz, stand-up, family events for the kids, we wanna have a little bit of everything. Certainly it's a great place in which to mount our own Productions, and we have wonderful new partners in Creative License who are bringing plays to the stage alongside our musicals. But we really want everyone to be able to find something of interest on our stage here at the Music Hall, and so far it's, we've been able to pull that off. You could talk about the history of this hall for hours and hours and hours and only scratch the surface. The building was built in 1874. It's the fourth oldest music hall in the country that's currently in operation. And you know, the first thing I point to is just the roster of people that performed here. I'm mindful of it every time I walk into the building. Buffalo Bill Cody, Annie Oakley, George M. Cohan, people who were truly legends of their time who played right here in the Capital Region at Cohoes Music Hall. And now our students get to perform on this stage. We get to have musicians that are popular come and play on this stage. But it's just so incredible, uh, the, the wealth of history here. Tonight we have a rehearsal for the upcoming opening of Creative License's production of the comedy Significant Other, which is really just a beautiful piece. Uh, and we're so excited for them to make their debut here at the Music Hall. It's gonna make people laugh. It's gonna make people really value all of the relationships in their life. It's running now through Sunday the 21st. When we started in 2014, we were working out of the Albany Barn, which is a creative arts incubator in Arbor Hill, and that had been um, a wonderful spot for us, but we felt like we were starting to outgrow it a little bit, which is the intention of the barn. Uh, so this partnership came um, at such a wonderful time, and it has been so much fun being here and uh, getting ready for our next show. Our next show after Significant Other is God of Carnage, which if you're a theater person, you hear God of Carnage and you usually immediately laugh and go, oh, that will be great. It's a four person show. It's really fast paced. It's a lot of fun. It gets really wild. Uh, and that is gonna have myself and my partner, Aaron, and our two collaborators that we work with all of the time, um, Ian Lachance and Bree Giulianelli. So that'll be so much fun. Uh, and that's in the spring and then be Beyond that, we're not sure yet. Um, we have a whole list of shows that we've always wanted to do, but never quite had the right venue to do them. So I think we're really excited to revisit that list and bring some new ideas here to the music hall. The month of December is jam-packed, and it's jam-packed not only with holiday-based entertainment, things like uh, the Edwards Twins' uh, Christmas with the Stars, we have two nights of Santa's sing-along, we have the Capital Region Pride Singers presenting a Celtic Christmas concert, but also some great tribute acts like Kistery that recreates a live Kiss show on the stage, and uh, a whole Journey set that's being played by the local band Legend. And then, of course, on New Year's Eve, we have our first night of uh, first night of Funny, produced by Stand Up Global. So uh, there's just so much coming up. In fact. It, 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 not a day goes by, it feels right now, that there aren't shows getting booked onto the calendar. And that's an especially good feeling given the fact that we had 18 months where we couldn't do a single thing on this stage. So uh, I encourage folks just to keep an eye on the website and the social media and all of that uh, to see what's coming up because it's constantly changing. We refer to the Cohoes Music Hall as the area's most intimate and historic performance venue, and I think we, we, we stand by that. Uh, not only is it because it was opened in 1874, but it's just amazing how close you sit to the action. You know, because of its horseshoe shape, um, no one is more than 50, 60 feet away from the, the singer or the artist on stage. Uh, and to be able to see some of these artists like a Joe Lewis Walker and be that close is just something really special. And it's also really wonderful how acoustically tuned this building is. Uh, they understood how to design for sound when they were building these buildings back in the day. And so, you know, when you're in watching an 
intimate theatrical performances, no microphones, everything just kind of carries very naturally through the hall. So it's a comfortable place to see a show, it's a convenient place to see a show, it's easy to park here in downtown Cohoes. There's a great environment that's building up and down Remsen Street and beyond with restaurants in Cohoes that are just doing really, really good work. So I think it's the kind of place where you can spend a fun night out uh, and get to see something in a really intimate and historic place that you might not get to see anywhere else.